very close-knit, uh, you know, family on set, and I, I legitimately love and every one of those people. Well, I feel like you did this on purpose, not even seeing him behind you, but he's like, I'm so excited when Dave comes, I get really pumped about it. <laughs> so, please welcome to the stage, Dave Batista. Come on out here, sir. Batista! 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 Hello, sir. How you doing? Good to see you. Just grab your mic right over there. Hello, everyone. Well, Apparently, we're playing some D&D &D later. I don't know. This is a con, so, you know, we had to bring all the nerdy things for you guys. We'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, but everybody's been here waiting. They were so excited to have you guys here to chat. Um, I kind of, we talked to Sean a little bit about this earlier, but just tell me a little bit about the journey from the first film coming out to being at the conventions now where the second one came out, huge success, and you guys are right on the brink of Infinity War. Well, yeah, that's a long conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, that's quite a journey. I think when we first all started, I think it was one of those, it was kind of the, uh, you know, the mystery game. But even when I went in for the audition, like, I knew nothing about Guardians. I knew zero about drafts. I had to research them and find out. So I think it was one of those things where we were kind of holding our breath. And, you know, we were confident in it, but we just, you never know until, you know, that opening weekend, the fans were out. And then it was so huge, I mean, it just really, it just really felt good. You know, we were, like, we really became such a close knit group of friends. So it was that much more satisfying. Then going on and you know, into the second film, people were, you knew the characters were in love with the characters. And also I have to say this, sorry, and I really do have ADD, so if I, if I start jumping all over the place, you guys have to just bear with me, but I have to say this because Sean was rocket in the first film. And he was there every day and he just gave so much to us as a performer, you know, and stuff that he really wasn't obligated to do. He just went, you know, just, far above and beyond what he was expected to do. And he dedicated dedicated himself to being Rocket even though he wouldn't get, you know, the, the praise that he should have. He wasn't gonna get recognized for the role. But so to, so to actually see people, in the, after the second film, uh, people came uh, aware, be aware of that and acknowledge him for that and also uh, embrace him as Chronicle and see him get a bigger part in the, in the film so people would be able to acknowledge uh, his performance. So it was really, it was really great to see. <laughs> Sorry, I totally got off the subject. Woo! I have to say that, because that was part of, of really my journey watching. I, I really hated not seeing him get the praise that he should have, because he really uh, made my performance in the first film what it was, because I couldn't have done it without him. So anyway, I just need to get that out of my chest. <laughs> Just hearing you guys talk about, you know, each other up here and the cast in general, there is just so much love that comes across. And I think that it, for me, hearing it, I'm like, does that build, like, a very comfortable zone for you guys on set to really play and get into that comedy stuff? Because I know, Dave, I actually got to interview the cast for the first film, and I talked to you, and I was like, oh my god, you were so funny, and you were like, really? Like, I just felt like there was a little bit of, like, ah, is this, did I do a good job? Is this what everybody wanted to see? And then now, going into it, do you feel like you guys are just so comfortable that you're like, we'll try it all? I mean, I think that, like, you know, a question I got a lot before the second movie was, you know, do you feel more pressure now that the first movie was so successful? And I think we felt so much less pressure for the second movie. I remember just the table read for the second movie going in and it being like, oh, this is great. It felt like going home again, you know, and, uh, and getting back into it. And, and yeah, I think that, um, I, I think we are really comfortable with each other, particularly on set. So uh, I'm really looking forward to the third movie for sure. I could tell even from scenes from the first film that were, I knew were early on for me, that uh, from scenes that were later on in the film that I had become more comfortable. And for the second film, I just, had, I was so comfortable with everybody. And also we had the luxury of James really writing specifically for us. And, and a lot of the script was just tailored for us uh, as performers. So I was like, way more comfortable and just way like, less self-conscious. But there is always a bit of me that's always going to be uh, self-conscious about my performance and always going to pick it and be insecure about it. I mean, I think the reaction from the fans for Drax, for Rocket, for Kraglin, all of the characters in Guardians of the Galaxy, you should not have any nerves anymore because you guys all love them, right? Woo! I think, too, there's certain moments, 
obviously seeing it as an audience that we all crack up, where it's, you know, it's very cop, it's y'all. When you guys are on set, do you feel those moments when they happen as well? Um, just like for women. Yeah. For anybody, really. <laughs> <laughs> Just like one of the random one-liners that fans really respond to, do you guys know those moments? Can you feel it on set? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I think, um, I, I think that, um, I, I think what Dave said was right, that I know that, that, that my brother particularly had an easier time writing the second movie because he hears people, you know, he wrote the first movie with it not being cast, and then in the second movie he was able to write specifically for Dave's voice and know, you know, in, in his strengths. And, um, and yeah, I think, I think a lot of times we, you don't know with 100% certainty, like there's some things you find funny that get cut or don't work or whatever, but for the most part, there's, you know, there's a lot of, you can tell what a lot of the good lines are when you're on set. Well, I feel like we get to see so much of what you guys do, obviously, on the screen and then sometimes in the behind-the-scenes stuff as well. And James, I feel like, James Gunn, director, your brother, has obviously become a character and a fan favorite. Being a director for the film as well, is there something that you guys can share? He loves that. <laughs> I know. Wait, well, I mean, that's something that I don't think a ton of fans would know, but is there something that you can share about him as a director that maybe people would be surprised about? Uh, you know, I think the thing about my brother is that he's he's good at keeping a loose, fun set, but within a very well prepared and well contained, uh, you know, bubble or something. I, I don't know how you put it exactly, but it's like it 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 feels very free being on set, but it's also not it's not chaotic. There's not like crazy hours all the time. It's not. He's he's he knows he knows very specifically what he wants, um, which is always great. I think. For the actors. I, yeah, I know. And I don't know if people would be surprised by this, but I can tell you, you know, from working with other directors, is is James gets more excited than any other director I've ever met. Like he gets like he interacts that way. He gets excited. He gets a microphone. He starts yelling out stuff. And I've never ever heard a, direct, a director also laugh so loud at the stuff that we're, we're performing, stuff that he wrote. I guess because he wrote it and it was in his head, but now he's actually getting to see it. But when it's happened, you can hear him offset just laughing as loud as the That's true. I know, that's true. I think, I think it is a, like a litmus test for him that if it, he knows if it makes him laugh while he's watching it, that it's probably working and that it's, and, and that it's funny. And that's not, it's not a common thing. Well, it makes me laugh because I'm like, I don't know which is a testament to either him being impressed by his own writing or your guys' performance <laughs> with well, what think, he's I think written. That, that's, that's what it is. I think he's the excitement. He's like, you know, like a little kid. He's just excited. I mean, that's I, and I love it. Well, and I think the really cool thing is, you know, from getting to work in this group and being so comfortable and growing as actors and performers, that parlays into a whole bunch of other stuff and stepping into bigger and different things. And Dave, one of my favorite films was Blade Runner, so can you talk a little bit about uh, Woo! that film? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, it was, I mean, it was great, it was, uh, but it's it just, it was so different, you know, from the experience of Guardians. It's, um, it was always very quiet. And like Denny is, um, he's not one to yell out things. He's not very boisterous. He doesn't. He does everything. He's very intimate. Everything's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, so it's just completely different. Just a much more serious um, film set, but not in a bad way. Yeah. You know, it's just much more quiet. Just totally different tone. Yeah, it, it really. Uh, but it was, it was a good. It was a close uh, uh, cast as well. It was a small cast. You know, there weren't that really, really that many cast members. In that. I spent most of my time with Ryan uh, Gosling, who I just love to death and have nothing but great things to say. But this guy, like he's again, he's like almost the exact opposite of Chris Pratt. Like Chris, you hear, you hear Chris walk in a room whether you want to hear him or not. <laughs> he's usually saying, saying something just absolutely ridiculous. And, and he, there's too many kids here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring out his usual greeting, but it's, it's pretty funny and obscene at the same time. <laughs> Pratt walks on to set like singing or cheering or like, yeah, it's true, you can hear him coming. 
Yeah, and everything out of Ryan's mouth is a, is a whisper. Like he's just like the most quiet guy. Like Al just, just makes you want to get closer to him. <laughs> well, and I think that's something too, obviously, with Infinity War coming and walking on the set and bringing the Guardians of the Galaxy, that energy to Infinity War. What was it like for you guys and what can you talk about? Because I know there's so much that's hush hush. I don't want to get too, more, too spoilery. I won't push you guys too hard. But what can you share with everybody about that film? Comes out in April. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It was it was uh, it was weird to be on set with the Guardians and have have different directors, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but great in, in its own way. It's like it's it was. A, Cool, different experience. Um, I don't know. I work with a bunch of new people, but I can't say who. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of a conversation killer right there. Yeah, I, I can say this. I was uh, that was one of my biggest fears was that because I didn't. You know, I knew the Russo brothers um, from Civil War, which is by far one of my favorite Marvel films. But I wasn't familiar with it personally, and I didn't know. I was. My fear was that they were going to try to make James Gunn's Guardians. Russo Brothers Guardians, and that, I, I found out fast that it wasn't the case at all. They really wanted us to be us. Uh, they really encouraged it. Uh, they really encouraged us to do business as usual, like the usual way, because we just have, we have a certain way that we do things. We yeah. have uh, you know, a certain interaction between us, and, and they just encouraged us to do that. And also, we had the luxury of James Gunn writing for us, yeah. so that really just helped a lot, and it just felt like, you know, business as usual with the it felt more like the, you know, because it's always us as a group, it's always the Guardians, it's always the Guardians. Yeah. And it felt more like they were joining our cast instead of <laughs> us joining their cast because we always outnumbered them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and I gotta ask about this because one of my favorite things when all of these superhero films come, as, come out are seeing the posters and the poses and the Marvel Universe photo that you guys did. What was that like being in that photo and and how do you perfect the perfect superhero pose for a poster? I feel like it's one of the highlights. Thank you, things. man. I wasn't on any poster. I'm the worst. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not a good poser. Like I'm just not good at it. I'm just not good at it. But it was one of those things, like where um, because I still, you know, I think people lose sight that I, I'm still kind of new to this, and I'm still. Uh, uh, very much a, a fanboy, so when I'm on set with that many movie stars, I would probably react like everybody else in this room, because it's just, to me, it's not, like, I'm not there thinking, oh, these are my peers, I'm thinking, oh, my God, you know, there's Michelle Pfeiffer yeah. standing over there, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like, totally just geeking out. You know? yeah. One of my favorite things about Dave is that he's constantly saying these things that he's not good at, that he's awesome at. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like as far as posing like a superhero, all he has to kind of do is stand there. And you're like, yep, yep, okay, done. <laughs> yeah, I always feel silly, and it was, I think it, maybe it's, because somewhere, you know, I used to, when I first started wrestling, I always thought, Whoa. you know, wrestling, big guys had to be, you had to be a big guy, you had to be a big, strong guy. And then somewhere along the line, somebody said, stop doing that. You look ridiculous when you're doing that. You know, you know, whether, you know whether you're flexing or not, you're still going to be, you know, six or four, or three hundred pounds, and you just look like you look like a robot when you do that. So I just became very self-conscious of it, and always yeah. just tried to be kind of more more loosey goosey. And I'm naturally kind of a gangly person anyway, so I'm not good at that posing yeah. and stuff. At this time. Well, no one would ever guess that. Um, we don't have too too much time left with you guys, so I do want to get to that die on the table. So what I want you guys to do, it's 20-sided dive. We're not playing D&D, &D, not today, but I totally would love to play with you guys sometime. Um, but roll the die, and we've got a question that correlates to each number. If you roll a one, because it's not a great number, it might be a little bit of a sillier question. If you get a 20, who knows? Who wants to go first? John, stepping up to the plate. Oh! 20. First roll, and he gets a 20. Yeah. Impressive, impressive. <laughs> So the question is, and you guys can both answer it, it's Final Jeopardy and the scores are all tied. What are you hoping that the category is? <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> um, uh, 90s hip hop. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> now I want to go to karaoke with you as well. <laughs> it's Trudy. Yeah, he's a 90s hip hop encyclopedia. It's insane. Like, it's crazy. Like, his knowledge of, of 90s hip hop is crazy. I think I what we, we know what is going to be on mixtape number three. Hopefully. <laughs> And Dave, for you. For me, it would be either movies or boxing. Boxing. Yeah. I like it. Movies or boxing. Yeah. What about boxing movies? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would be my dream category. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for coming to hang out with us. Thank you for playing, for questions. And thank you guys all for coming out and chatting with us. Thing and follow on sci-fi. Thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs>